Tsunami Studios. Y'all, I am so happy that we're talking about this show today. That's right, we are talking Auntie Donna's or Auntie Donna's, wherever you're from in the world. They got a Netflix show, y'all. Big old house of fun. That's right, the boys from Auntie Donna have gotten a Netflix show. That's right, isn't that exciting? I'm so happy for them. Congrats to you guys. You guys make some really funny content, and I'm super... I just really like what they do. I really think they are talented interesting funny and creative guys who definitely deserve this chance and they got a netflix show they are guys from youtube like this one i'm not as funny or creative well maybe i don't know we'll see potentially not really but you never know and it's fun it's such a good show i guess big old house of fun is a great title for it it's six episodes of these boys doing the skits you've seen them do before, but man is it fun and different. It's a bigger budget, I think, I don't actually know, but it's like, hey, what if these guys just had a house in America and just got a chance to do their skits for a bigger audience, and it's like, that's cool. That's really cool, I'm so happy they made this. It's just, I don't even know how to really like go into it without breaking down each individual joke, but I do want to say is, it's a well thought out thing. Like every single joke pretty much lands. There's a few here and there that kind of miss the mark, I think, but that's just because we've seen them do similar jokes and that's not a bad thing. You just know kind of like the beats of what's going on there. And I understand that when you are like showing your content to a new audience, you should uh, do some of your classics, you know? Because that's why people liked you in the first place, right? Why do you think comedians have a like standard set they do every time they're on the road? Those are the things right. I think that's a okay thing to do here. I do like seeing that these guys are just having a ball while they're doing it. Everything works for them. There's some just great little moments here that I think a lot of people are going to like. In particular, there's a few jokes that I liked. The one about Ellen DeGeneres was probably my favorite. I won't get into it. When you get to that part, that one's hilarious. There's one where uh, two of our guys here are doing a South African accent and they're just trying to like dig for treasure. It's really funny. It is very creative and just some of the... It's just so fast paced and kind of nuanced and I know it's not going to be for everyone. Because it's not, you know, there's some people who don't understand what they're going for, and I understand that completely. And it's more of, um, I, I don't want to say it's more like a younger audience, but it's more of like an audience that understands the internet. I think that's a good way to put it. More of that meme culture than it is like the, your old school comedy fans. And I think that's a really cool thing. It's not really Monty Python is what I'd say. <laughs> it's close, but it's not really. It's just really fun. There's some great guests in here. Without getting too much into it, if you are a fan of the show The Boys, there's going to be a lot in here that you're going to laugh at and enjoy. Like, it's just really great to see some of the stuff that they pull off in here, man. It's incredible. Weird Al Yankovic's in here. Ed Helms is in here. You classic names. Those guys are big and huge, and having them in here, I think, is kind of the reason they got it made. But it's just nice to see that these guys did something incredible that was so fun and interesting. I love it. It's it's just very inspiring for anybody, I think, who does online content, where it's like, the thing you're doing now, it could potentially lead to something bigger, and I think that's a really cool thing to see. And their comedy, like I said, it's cute, it's campy, it's nuanced, but it's also gonna make you smile the entire time. Even if the joke doesn't land, maybe you've seen them do a sketch similar on their YouTube channel, or if you're just like, I don't think that was that funny, it's still gonna work for you. I'm telling you that for sure. There's still gonna be enough in here that's gonna make you go, this is awesome. There's something about this I like, if you're willing to accept this kind of humor. Now, not everybody is, but that's okay. I think it's one everybody should check out. It's the kind of show that I highly recommend to those people who are looking for that just random comedy, like, itch, you know? Some people just want to have something that's really fun and dumb, and I think this is a great way to do it because these guys worked hard to get there, Broden, Zach, and Mark, and everybody else involved in their production. They worked hard to get here, and they deserve this show, and I'm really happy they got it. Everything about it works great. So everybody should go check out Auntie Donna's Big Old House of Fun on Netflix. Six episodes, three minutes. Why did I say three minutes? 20 minutes each. Uh, three minutes is like their YouTube video. It doesn't matter. It's worth it. You are going to enjoy yourself watching it. So Auntie Donna's Big Old House of Fun, I am going to give an 8 out of 10. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. 
As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.